Welcome to Disciple Dojo. Now, most of the reviews that we do here on the channel are reviews of study Bibles or maybe some type of commentary type resources. We don't do a lot of in-depth commentary reviews. I've had people ask for those. Honestly, there are just too many out there. And if I reviewed commentaries, that's kind of all I would do. It would be a full-time job. So rather than doing in-depth reviews of specific commentaries, what I like to do is kind of give some suggestions for people and so that you know what to look for when you're out there shopping for biblical commentaries. Now, when it comes to academic study, like high-level biblical study, I don't usually recommend buying full sets of commentaries. Now, if it's digital, like in Lagos or Accordance, and you get a really good deal on a full set, and you know that a number of the commentaries in that set are very good, then I think it could be worth it. But in general, people that just buy a nice, big matching set of commentaries to go on their shelves. I'm just not a fan of that. I think it's better to buy individual commentaries by individual authors and sort of build your library that way. However, when it comes to just normal, like let's say lay level commentaries, like commentaries that non-academic biblical readers can benefit from, sometimes I think it is helpful to know about sets that are out there and some are better than others. And so what I wanted to do is just give you a heads up on a couple of sets that I think are pretty good, that I generally steer people toward if they're looking to lead a small group, or maybe they're in a small group, but they just want to get a little more background than whatever material they're using has. Maybe they're a Sunday school teacher, maybe they're a campus minister. For people that want more than what they will find in a one volume commentary or even a good study Bible and its study notes, there are some commentary sets that I find generally helpful. So in this video, I just want to point out two commentary sets that are out there that are available relatively inexpensive for Old Testament study. If you're looking to study the Hebrew Bible, there are other commentary sets out there that I might recommend for New Testament, but for biblical study, Old Testament resources are typically harder to find, especially among Christians, than good New Testament resources. So I want to make sure to highlight a couple of those. One set that I really like, I actually have this whole set digitally in a quarter but before that, I had a number of the volumes separately on my shelf in paperback, and that is the Bible Speaks Today set. This is by InterVarsity Press, and it looks different because this is what the old printing looked like, and this is what the new printing looks like. And we'll take a look at these, and I'll show you what you can expect to find in them. So here's what they look like. Um, each one is for a different book of the Bible. So Jay Metyer does Exodus. Christopher Wright has done Lamentations and Jeremiah. He's also done Ezekiel. And Derek Kidner has done Ecclesiastes. So when you open these up, after the table of contents, you're going to find the general preface. And this is what the Bible Speaks Today series sets out to do. And this might be a little confusing for you. This is called The Bible Speaks Today. That's the name of the series. But each volume is called The Message of and then whatever the book is. So this is the message of Jeremiah, the message of Ezekiel, the message of Exodus. So sometimes people might refer to it and they might say the message of or the Bible speaks today. They're talking about the same thing. So in the Bible speaks today series, you have the message of Jeremiah. So when you open that up, here's the preface. And this tells about the series, the Bible speaks today series. And the editors for this series were Alec Metyer, John Stott and Derek Tidball all renowned British scholars. There's an author's preface that tells about whatever book, in this case, Chris Wright, talking about his interest in Jeremiah. Then you come to the abbreviations, the bibliography, and then introduction to the book. And this is usually going to be pretty substantial. I think Wright's introduction to Jeremiah is, uh, it's about 30 pages or so. So setting up the book, and then it goes section by section. So it gives you an overview of the section that he's going to talk about, and then it just walks you through the section. It doesn't have the text of scripture in it. You have to have your Bible to read along, but it just goes through and then the next section. So you can see these aren't in depth. It's not bogged down with footnotes. 
There's not a lot of technical discussion. There's no Hebrew or Greek font in here. These were written for interested lay people, people that want to know the Bible, but they don't have the academic training necessary to wade through a journal article or to get into the original languages. It doesn't mean they shy away from discussing those things when needed, but this series is aimed at helping you understand exactly what it says, the message, so that the Bible will speak today. And so you can see a difference, the format, this is the older printing, the text was a little more, I don't know, antiquated, a little more typewriter looking, but in general, pretty much the same. In the newer one, you have a little bit bigger margin space. The font is different, not quite as crowded on the page, but the content is the same in both of these, depending on if you buy the older printing or the new ones. The new ones just look really nice. And one of the ones that I really enjoyed in this set was Derek Kidner's volume on Ecclesiastes. In teaching through and translating Ecclesiastes, I found it's not very thick. I mean, Ecclesiastes isn't a big book. His notes are not long and verbose. He kind of gets right to the point. But Kidner has a way of saying things in English that really make you think about the text differently. He's just, he's great at a turn of phrase and, and wording things well. I really, really enjoyed this volume working through Ecclesiastes. Now this, along with Christopher Wright's book, Hearing the Message of Ecclesiastes, this is not the message of Ecclesiastes. Derek Kidner wrote the message of Ecclesiastes. This is Hearing the Message of Ecclesiastes. This is from Zondervan, not IVP. But these two together, will really get you through the book of Ecclesiastes and pull out stuff that is just incredibly profound from that very hard to read, hard to study, and easy to misinterpret book known as Ecclesiastes. Now, if you have Logos or Accordance, uh, maybe some other Bible software that has these available digitally and they go on sale for a good price, I'd say get the whole set if you're able to, especially if you teach or preach for a living. These are great to consult for that purpose. And I mentioned how good Kidner's volume in Ecclesiastes was. Well, speaking of Derek Kidner, he has also done work in Tyndale's Old Testament series. Now, this is an older version of the Tyndale Old Testament commentary. IVP has published as a set the Kidner Classic Commentaries. They were nice enough to send me a copy of these so I could look at them. I'm actually using the one that he did on Psalms he has two volumes on Psalms. I'm actually using this as we're going through our series here at the dojo on the Psalms. But Kidner's a fantastic scholar, and he has, like I said, a wonderful ability to draw things out of the text that you may not have noticed and say them in a way that's pretty profound. So again, to compare, this is the old, this is what the old series from Tyndale looks like. They're pretty small. You can see this compared to my hand. Uh, it's that same thing, the font, not a lot of margin space, kind of old typewriter looking font, but very similar to the Bible Speaks today. You have the contents, you have the preface by the author, you have the abbreviations, then the introduction to the book, in this case, Genesis. Once again, it's about a 30 page introduction, and then you come to the commentary on Genesis. And this series by Tyndall, the thing to know about it is these are closer to annotations. They're fairly compact. So for instance, here's a note of how the Genesis days are laid out. And it just goes verse by verse, verse three, verses four and five. And then the next section, verses six through eight, there's a summary overview. And then the next section, nine through 13, is that much? So you're not getting like in depth on each verse, but you are getting each section of the text. These are smaller commentaries. I'll show you the difference in the updated. So the Kidner's Classic series, Again, it's the same material. Like if you look in this, here's the introduction in the old volume, and here is that same introduction in the new volume. So you can see it's just, it's spread out a little. The font, again, a little easier to read, not as much of the kind of older typewriter looking, slightly bigger margins, bigger pages, laid out on the page a little cleaner visually. This is kind of, you know, kind of all run together. There's a little more space here, but the material is the same. I believe there's one more volume that's in the process of being published right now. I don't think it's come out yet, but these are the ones that IVP sent me to take a look at. And again, you can see this is how it compares 
to the older series. Derek Kidner was a phenomenal scholar. He was the warden of Tyndale House. He passed away in 2008. His commentaries are classic. And even a lot of the academic and the technical commentaries out there, they interact with Kidner's work. So if you're looking to study a book of the Old Testament, this is another set that I want to put on your radar. I want to thank InterVarsity for sending me these copies to look at. And since I already have Kidner's volume in the old edition, I'm going to be giving away this volume on Genesis to a viewer on this video. So if you would like to enter to win this, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below and just tell me who is your favorite Old Testament scholar or interpreter, living or dead, and why. That's it. Then on February 20th, I will pick a winner. I'll choose one of the comments in the comment section. I'll respond to your comment and I'll say, you've won. And then it's up to you to email me back. I'll tell you where to email and give me your address so I can ship this to you. So straightforward, leave a comment with your favorite Old Testament scholar or interpreter and tell me why they're your favorite. February 20th, I picked the winner and this volume in the Kidner Classic Commentary Series on Genesis will be headed your way. So I just wanted to make this video to show you some examples of commentaries that are out there that aren't super technical. If you're an interested Bible reader, these are written for you. If you're looking for a set, now again, like I said, I prefer to buy volumes individually. I typically don't buy whole sets unless there's like a crazy deal on it or unless it's digital and, and there's just a huge sale, which Logos and Accordance will have big sales a couple of times a year. So if you're looking to get a full set, I recommend going the digital route. But in terms of commentaries that are good for general use, anybody out there looking to study a book in more detail, these are two sets that I have yet to be really disappointed in any of the volumes I've seen in them. The Bible Speaks Today series and the Tyndale series particularly Derek Kidner's volumes in that, they're worth having on your radar. So I hope this was helpful. That's all for now. As always, I really appreciate those of you who watch and support this channel. If you haven't already, do us a big favor and click the subscribe button and enable the notifications icon. That is just so, so very helpful to us. That's all for now. We'll see you back here next time at Disciple Dojo. As always, keep training.